we are now on the road to 200 subscribers so be sure to subscribe and leave a like because i make nba content just like this every single day so there there's your reason right there all right what is going on everybody what it do baby welcome back to this nba 2k20 my career now this video is basically all cutscenes, so i hope you enjoy and leave a like hello Welcome back, homie. Man? Yeah, it's me. I got somebody who wants to meet you. I just walked in the door. I got to work out at 6. Just an invitation, no pressure, but I'll text you the spot. Later. Jay, I'm Jesse Ashier with Jordan Brand. Hey. Have a seat. It's nice to finally meet you. You have no idea how long I've been chasing this meeting. Really? I, mean, I never consider myself a hard guy to get in touch with. <laughs> well, I'm not the type to just slide into the DMs. I like to be introed from a trusted source. Guess I'm old school. What's up? <laughs> Listen, Jay, I know we're all busy, so I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. Maverick told me this is your first shoe meeting. Ah, uh, so that's what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to try to force you into making any sort of decision tonight. I know you'll want to sit with other brands. I mean, well... Uh... <laughs> it's fine, Jay. I understand the game. And I understand my competitors will trot out bigger and more important faces than mine. Again, the game. But the reason I'm comfortable sitting here without all the bells and whistles is because I already know we are the only brand that will work with the real Jay. Any brand I work with will get the real me. Well, they'll sign the real you. They won't work with the real you. The real Che. We're not afraid of your voice or giving you a platform to use it. You know, what if I just want to focus on ball? Leave all the other stuff in college, you know? Ray Allen, Michael Finley. We've worked with plenty of guys whose game does the talking. We'll respect whatever approach you want to take with your career on and off the court. But make no mistake, you've already made a mark on modern sports, Jay. You're not just an athlete, you're an icon. Anyone can buy a pair of our shoes. Icons are the only ones who get paid to wear them. Hey, man. Did you ever sit this close before? No, sir. I mean, I've sat on a bench before, but this is a little different. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hey, make sure you get to know these courtside season ticket holders once the season starts. You know the reality, man. The clock runs out on everybody, but with these folks, if you play your cards right, they'll be there to help you with the transition. Okay, cool. I got to tell you, when I first bought the Mavs, immediately called me the tech guy. They, they thought I was out of my mind, and... I guess can't blame them. I mean, I just paid more for the Mavs than any team ever, and we were the laughing stock of the NBA. <laughs> They're not laughing anymore. Maybe not quite as loudly, but I gotta tell you what I learned, Jay. When you have a little bit of success and a lot of money, people listen to every word you say. They may even think you're a genius. <laughs> but anyways, I still get nervous before every single tip-off, so I'm gonna go back in the tunnel, blow off some steam. All right, cool. a bit. It's nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you too, Jay. Yeah. Yo, Shay, thought that was you lamping courtside. Ain't seen you since USA trials, right? JJ, what's up, man? Yeah, I miss those days. Glad I ran into you. I just wanted to get in your ear about Under Armour. Thought about a merch deal at all? Hey, not too much, but I'm open. Cool, cool. It's funny, man. You get in the league, 
think you've made it, that's when it all really starts. I think people got expectations of college ball. Just wait. So look, I ain't gonna blow smoke, but I spoke to corporate. I told them they should bring you on. Are you serious? Hey, good looking up, man. We're building something, Che. On the court and in the community. Havoc sounds rocking this year. Serious. Traction was crazy, too. All right. What about that signature? Ah, patience, bro. <laughs> hey, you keep baptizing dudes in the lane. It's gonna happen. We'll see. They had me in some dope exclusives this year, though. Motor City all day. Them things are fresh. Thanks, man. But I'm telling you, come ride with us, and once Steph retires, we'll be carrying that torch. I don't know, man. Steph is a side boy. That Jay's gonna be wet till he's 60. Man, please don't say that. <laughs> I'm just right. Hello? Little birdie tells me you're hearing sneaker pitches? What time is it, Z? It's 4.30. I only need like three hours of sleep. Dude, you're like a freaking vampire. Yes, look, if you want to take meetings, let's meet with everybody, okay? A lot of new players in the game. You got Puma, Lanning, Reebok's making a push. You gotta let me set this up. All right, whatever, man. Look, just don't bother me until daylight, all right? Yeah, sure. Dude. My grub soft and shake like a strawberry. Yo, them Freddy Kruegers is tight, right? Man, these are dope. How much? Man, no clue, Che. Man, you Jerry Lorenzo, fear of God. Yeah, you Che that dude. <laughs> What's up, man? Nice to meet you, man. You too. Your agent didn't tell you I was coming by? Nah, you know, he said somebody from Nike, but I thought it was gonna be a sales rep, not you. Oh, man, I heard it was you, and uh, I had to make the trip, bro. Man, I appreciate it, man. No doubt, no Yo, doubt. You know I copped a knockoff pair of your van collabs freshman year? Haha, <laughs> I gotta send you the authentics, bro. You serious? Yeah, I got you, man. No problem, man. More importantly, I gotta get you in them new fear of gods. Man, that Nike collab is fire. Oh, thanks so much, man. You know, that thing was built on pure conviction, man. That thing came straight from the heart, straight from the soul. You know, I had the choice to either color up an Air Force One and put my spin on it, or work with Nike to propose something new to the world. And that's something new is very successful, bro. And that's why I asked to sit with you, man. You know, swimming against the tides, you know, it ain't easy, man, but that's where greatness is born. You look at Allen Iverson, man. That guy came into the league and they had to change the rules because of him. Put in a dress code, you know? <laughs> right. I just came to say, man, that the way that Nike believed and embraced me, I believe they'll do the same for you. And you just gotta ask the question to yourself, man. Are you in this to play the game or disrupt it? Sir, there he is, ready to rap, so. Without Spider, most definitely. You know, mom's man, she can't stop talking about you, man. <laughs> you gonna toss that up for the spike like that? <laughs> no, nah, I meant that she's talking about you staying in school and standing up for your teammates, man. For sure, man. I respect what you do off court too, bro. Showing up the fans barbecue, paying for the iPhones. <laughs> Big homie is a saint of Salt Lake. <laughs> yeah, man. Mom still got me trying to further my education, though. You know, GCDS, baby. The least I can do is finish my degree. I respect that, man. One question though. What's up? What comes first? Degree or MVP? <laughs> Gotta get that hardware, bro. But don't tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> so what you think of the Dons, bro? Hey man, those joints are fresh. <sighs> Determination over negativity. Kinda resonates, don't it? I think I'm gonna get it tatted on my forehead. Don't do that, bro. I own the copyright. <laughs> I got mad lawyers now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Shay, you already know Adidas has a serious stable. Thing is, we just got our own lane. You know, I'm low-key, driven. Dame's always keeping it hunting with the fans. KP is straight hilarious, man. <laughs> and Harden is... Harden's just a beard, right? Hey, suit fly like a hoop. Facts. Point is, if you sign with us, you're not just another dude on the roster. You're Shea. You control your message. And that's real power. 
All right. I got a question for you. If I sign with you guys, you gonna let me get the keys to the range? <laughs> no. Come on, man. I thought we was boys. <laughs> I'll spare you the legalese. They're all pretty much the same thing with a performance escalator if you make the rookie team or the all-star game, etc. Any of these jump out at you? Honestly, all of them. And I feel like whoever I go with, I'm disrespecting someone else. It's not like I had random suits pitching me. <sighs> uh, okay. There's no friendship between the lines, Jay. You know that. This is business. And look, all of those guys realize that you have to do what's best for you. Come on, man. This is the best part. Free gear, free shoes. Smile, come on. What do you think, Z? Well, uh, I'm your agent. I'm not your girlfriend. I just set the table and go over the finer points of the deal. But, you know, you're the one who's got to be comfortable with the decision. Did anyone go out of their way to talk to you? Who do you feel you can grow with? <clears throat> there are no bad options on this table. That's the truth. All right, well, obviously this is a big decision. I was thinking about going with Puma. Puma, not Pumba. But I was thought about Jordan. I'm like, hey, I have Jordans in real life. They're pretty damn nice. Then I thought about Adidas. But then I'm like, N I always go with Nike. So why not stick with them? They have some fire shoes. So I'm going to go with Nike. Okay. Let's talk NBA workouts. You are not doing any head-to-heads. Yeah? Just interviews and drills. And if we get a guarantee from a top 15, we'll probably just shelf you until the draft. Okay, so ball. You, my friend, you have some tough choices. Okay, yes, there are a lot of teams coming in, but you are competing against dudes that are above you and below you. So this is a great opportunity for you to move up, but you could just as easily slide. Plus, you got to consider fatigue. I mean, Che, these are some serious workouts. You try to hit too many of them, you could wear down. Losing over there, huh? Yeah, right. Want me to hop on the stick? Nah, I'm good, man. What's up, what's up? What's up? Quite enough. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I got news. Whoa, what you got? You both got the green room invites for the draft. Yes! <laughs> My coming up party, you know America can touch your French. On the Super Bowl, Sure, look, guys, a little piece of advice. Draft night is kind of like your wedding night. Those images never go away. I'm not saying you can't have a little bit of flair, but just know that history can be a harsh judge. Where's something nice? Hey, A.W., you give us a second? Uh, pas de problème. How are you losing, man? You're a basketball player. Never lose. You're currently losing. <laughs> so look, Che. What's up? Uh, I don't want to rain on your parade here. But we don't have a guarantee from anyone yet. AW is good. He's not going past 12. I know that for a fact. But Wait, So what are you saying? I'm saying it's an honor to be invited. But if you find yourself the last one sitting there, those cameras can be pretty damn invasive. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm out of here. If you, uh, if you need me, I'm on my cell. But, uh... You made it, to a degree. So look, I spoke to my guys that interrupted. We want to do a follow doc on Che at the draft. Yeah, okay, good, walk me through it. Look, what we'll do is we'll get a couple cameras, follow him, fly on the wall. He won't even know we're there. We'll follow him as he hits New York, gets a new suit, maybe spend some time with his family, some time in the media, really start to tell his more than athlete story. Let's do it. Cool, the uninterrupted team will be in touch. Cool. Okay, what do you want your legacy to be? Well, my legacy to be that I live, not just survive, you know? Ooh, this who are was they? A... Yo! What's up? <laughs> They're just following me around for the draft. Oh. Hey, don't get all self-conscious on me now, all right? <gasps> Please. I am 48 years old, 15 pounds overweight, never married, and good with every part of that. <laughs> 
Guess I got here just in time. What, you're not feeling it? Check this out. No, I'm feeling it. Like drinking spoiled milk before skydiving. <laughs> you, my friend, are a hater. <laughs> no, I'm just your friends, because you clearly ain't got no mirrors. You know you like this? Yeah, um, not on you, though. You know, he's gonna change, just looking out. A little fancy. Yeah, glad you could be here. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, Jay, that's a look. We sure about that? Ignore him, Jay. He looks like he's dressed for his boarding school formal. To which I went stag? No. Not by choice either. Shocking. You must be Issa. That's right. The one with the poor business sense. Well, you know. Uh, Don't worry, Bailey. You weren't wrong. The game within the game is as foreign to me as GQ magazine apparently is to him. <laughs> okay. My God, you're intimidating. Hmm, just a bit. <laughs> this really your man. He's a shark. Well, I don't know about shark, Che. Uh, more of a poisonous jellyfish or a aggressive sea turtle. I'm thinking blobfish. What's that? Nothing. Cool. Let's go. Obviously, the draft was a humble experience. I respected some people had concerns about my commitment to the game, and that's their right. You know, right or wrong, I always had my convictions, my principles, and I used those to guide me, and I will continue to do so. My goal is to be the best teammate that I can be, to represent this organization both on and off the court with honor and humility. Thank you. Wow.